Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a fascinating topic that's challenging how we view loneliness and human connection. We'll delve into the world of Aria, the humanoid robot from Real Bodix, which promises to change the way we interact and relate to one another. We'll explore not only Aria's specifications, but also the emotional, social, and ethical impact of having artificial companions in our lives. So get ready for an intriguing journey because we're just getting started. The creation of Aria and her purpose. Imagine for a moment the laboratory where Aria is born. Here, engineers and psychologists come together with a single purpose, to find a solution to the loneliness faced by a large portion of the population. Aria isn't just a machine. Her development stems from the human desire for connection. In a world where human relationships can be complex and often unsatisfying, Aria presents herself as an intriguing alternative. But what is her real utility in society? Real Bodix's vision goes beyond entertainment or pleasure. Aria could serve as an emotional companion for those facing isolation. The company aims for Aria to be seen not just as a technological project, but as a potential ally in the pursuit of emotional well-being. However, could this advancement further blur the already thin line between reality and artificiality? Exploring Functionality Aria as an Emotional Companion Now, let's delve into what truly makes Aria special. With her advanced artificial intelligence, Aria can not only recognize objects and analyze faces, but she also learns from her interactions. This means every conversation becomes more nuanced and personalized. Imagine having someone who remembers your likes, passions, and stories, an experience that could provide a sense of belonging and connection that is sometimes missing in modern human relationships. Also, consider how Aria becomes a supportive figure in moments of vulnerability. In a society where mental well-being is increasingly important, having someone who doesn't judge and is always available could be invaluable. Are you feeling lonely at night? Do you need to vent after a bad day? Here's Aria, ready to listen. Authenticity and questions. However, this raises major questions about the authenticity of the connection. Can a relationship with a robotic figure truly satisfy our human needs? On one hand, Aria might offer essential validation that some seek. On the other, the fact that this interaction is entirely controlled and designed to please could make the connection lack the depth and complexity that emerges in real human relationships. Technology and Society Let's delve into the social aspect. Aria's arrival represents an evolution in how we perceive loneliness and companionship. Loneliness is a growing phenomenon in the contemporary world. We are more digitally connected than ever, yet many people feel lonelier. Here is where the idea of a robot companion takes shape. Aria might be seen as a temporary solution or even a patch for a deeper problem our interpersonal disconnection. What are the social implications of this? If more people begin to opt for relationships with robots instead of each other, how will this impact our ability to genuinely connect with others? Experts warn that reliance on these synthetic interactions could lead to erosion of social skills, especially in contexts where isolation is a problem such as in elder communities or among people with mental health conditions. Criticisms and Future Perspectives Despite the potential benefits, we must confront criticisms as well. Aria, although designed to be an emotional companion, often finds herself embroiled in controversies related to the objectification of the female body. The sexualized image accompanying real botics cannot be ignored and many argue that these machines perpetuate patterns of objectification. In this context, the question arises, can we really separate from the legacies of their previous products? Real Botix is working to detach its image from the past. 
they have initiated a legal separation process between their different products to reinforce their commitment to emotional wellness instead of simple entertainment. However, public perception often evolves more slowly than the company's intentions. This process could bring significant challenges and a path full of obstacles in their quest to redefine their identity. An ethical debate. Furthermore, let's talk about the ethics surrounding Aria and other artificial beings. When robots are introduced into our lives as emotional companions, ethical dilemmas arise. For instance, should we allow these machines to take on roles traditionally reserved for humans, such as friends or therapists? The possibility of developing emotional bonds with a robot raises concerns about emotional manipulation and potential harm to the human psyche. A fundamental aspect to consider is the idea that the relationship with a machine can be much more controlled and predictable than with a human. This might seem attractive, but it can also lead to a lack of real emotional growth and personal development, as the challenges and limitations we often face in human relationships are in themselves opportunities for learning. Alternative Models of Companionship As we reflect on Arya's function, it is worth exploring alternative models of companionship. There are apps and social platforms designed to foster meaningful human connections, as well as various initiatives aimed at combating loneliness through community gatherings or support groups. While technology is making significant advances, we must also remember the importance of cultivating those authentic human connections and support networks that offer care and understanding. Could ARIA serve as a bridge to those relationships? Perhaps? but it is vital not to allow her presence to replace our close interactions with other humans. At the end of the day, the goal should be to enrich our experiences, not replace them. Finding a balance is key. The future of human and artificial connection. Looking to the future, it's fascinating to imagine how we will interact with technologies like Aria in 10 or 20 years as these technologies evolve, the lines between human and artificial will continue to blur. It's possible that one day, robot companions will integrate into daily life in such ways that they become part of the fabric of our communities. What skills and learnings do we need to develop to navigate this new landscape of human and robot relationships? A narrative of education and adaptability will need to be part of our evolution as a society, where preparing for this new type of connection will be essential. In the meantime, the conversation about loneliness, the human need for companionship, and the role of technology has never been more crucial. Final Reflection on Loneliness and Connection as we conclude, we reflect on the impact that Arya and figures like her have on our lives. Yes, we face a future where loneliness and artificial companionship coexist, and more people might find value in these interactions. However, we must also be aware not to lose sight of the importance of genuine human relationships. As we learn to leverage emerging technologies, we must do so responsibly and with an understanding of their implications. Arya might abbreviate the path to companionship, but as a society, it is our task to ensure that neither technology nor loneliness defines our emotional well-being. We have the power to balance innovation with humanity, ensuring that new technologies enrich our lives rather than replace them. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of Arya. We hope this has offered new perspectives and much to think about. What do you think about the future of human interaction with technology? Do you believe figures like Arya can become valuable companions, or will they draw us away from authentic human connections? Leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to continue exploring the future of technology and its implications on our lives. Until next time.